you're watching the Lazizi Review Show. What do you buy? Lazizi. You are watching the Sweetie Girl Production. It's like that. Snap, snap. So hello out there, YouTube Lania. Yes, girl, yes. Yes, a boy, yes. Like I always say, um, I'm back, right? And um, today we're going to be talking about, you know, we, I don't usually do this. I don't usually do this, but we're going to cover a news report that was on the news. And which I don't like to, you know, I don't like to do that because, you know, the news and the TV, he, he lies to you, right? But anyway, this was, there's a juicy one, right? It's a juicy one because it's just... Is it, there's a little um, backstory. There's a little sideways story to it because ain't nothing new. Ain't nothing new about the tragic events that happened in this story. But what is new is that there's a little twist in the story, and I want to tackle that today here on the Lazizi Review. So stay tuned. <laughs> If you've been following on Facebook or you've been watching the news, then you would have heard this story already. It's about that school cop, that little, you know, school robocop that he works out. He works out. I don't know if you know this about him, but he works out religiously. Like, he works out, baby, right? And he is trained from head to toe. And he was like a school cop or whatever the fuck you call that, security nobody guy, right? And um, um, they called him, the principal called him into the classroom. I'm sure you've seen this story. You've seen it. And he takes this little girl who is, by the way, black, which a lot of you um, Caucasian people, you white people have a problem with that. You have a problem with that because you think, well, you know, it doesn't matter that she's black. And why does people keep saying this? But because it, it, it does matter. Because we all know that if she was white, we all know this, he would never have went that far. And you already know where I'm going with. You know where I'm going with this, right? Because he took her and he threw her. Out the desk like this, he threw, he took up any, any like headlocked her and smashed her to the floor like she was a rag doll, and he catapulted her all around, slammed her against the the other, the whole other side of the room, right? And all the kids are like this, like they don't know what to do with their faces. They're hiding, they're traumatized. I mean, and they, there's interviews with some of them, and they're like, yeah, we were traumatized. We was, you know, we were all scared for our lives, you know. And then on top of that, nobody really talks about this part because there's a boy that he videotaped it. The boy videotaped it. And thank God, right? Thank God for that kid. Because he was able to, you know, say how he felt, how it made him feel, how he was terrified for his life, how he was scared for the girl. He even told the story about that the girl didn't do nothing. It was over cell phone and she didn't want to get up. And it was very minimal what she did. She wasn't even rowdy or screaming or yelling because a lot of views out there got the story all wrong and thinking that she was all bugging and wilding. And it wasn't none of that. He told her to get out the chair. She didn't say, she said, I don't know you like that. And then he kaboom and he flipped her over because I guess, you know, he don't have a dick between his legs. I will tell you. Now, let me get it. Let, let me get in here and tell you this. For anybody that wants to defend his actions, it was monstrous. It's a punk bitch move. Some of you are out there even saying, well, when we grew up back in the days, you know, um, you know, this type of corporal punishment it was known in the 70s and the 80s. They threw you down and that's the way it was. And let me tell you something. No, don't even try it. Don't even try it. Kaboop. I will shut you up right here and tell you, no, I went to Catholic school back in the days. The nuns will fuck you up. They will knock you across your face. They they will slam you to the floor. But not like that. Like that, he almost, he looked like he broke her neck, broke her spine. You know, he t he twisted her into all kinds of pretzels. Honey, he was a master. He was a master. He physically assaulted her, right? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He physically assaulted, brutalized her, and practically murdered her. And everybody's in the class like this. Oh, and everybody's scared, terrified for their life. But they don't talk about this part. There was a girl that was arrested too. Now, she jumped up, right, in her story. She jumps up, and she's praying out loud, praying like, please, God, help her. She praying for this girl's life and for, you know, for the class and everything because she didn't know what to do. She was so scared. At the end of it all, she said, stop doing this. This is wrong. This is wrong, right? At the end of all of this, when he arrests the kid, the little poor little girl that probably got beaten practically half to death, supposedly she didn't even say anything when she was getting thrown around because she was in shock, right? She was in shock. Uh, you know, she was being traumatized. She was being brutalized by this monster. So then this other girl comes to her and says, please stop. What are you doing? This is wrong. This is wrong. Well, at the end, he grabs her and takes her out too. Handcuff homegirl and drags her out too. And even told her, you want some of this? You want some of this? And she was like, no. So her mother's on the news saying, I'm not even mad at her because she stood up. I'm mad at her. They should give her a medal of honor, right? And I want you all to know this. That man should not just lose his job. Supposedly he lost his job. The, the sheriff, whatever, um, you know, he lost his job. They want, they, you know, he, he don't work. The, he no work no more, right? Whatever, right? But I felt like, no, that's too easy. They should have put him under the jail. They should have strapped him under the jail. And I'm going to tell you why. 
because it was just all so disgusting what he did. He works out. He's totally trained. So how do you justify that? Hmm? How do you some of you, and these are, this is going to go out to some of you that, that try to justify that. I saw you on Facebook trying to justify that, you know, coming down the feet like, oh, well, you know, da, 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 and, you know, and I'm tired of people saying that he's a white guy, but he was a white guy. No, and don't even justify it that that you because we all know, like I said, I don't know if I said it, but I'm gonna say it again. We all know that if it was a white girl, it would not have happened. Not like that, and then on national television because they would have they would have shot him. He probably would have got the family squad and shot, right? But here here go the backstory. This is the principal. This is the principal standing off to the side of the video. So the side this way, all right, or this way, right? I don't know how you're gonna see me on this video, but he's standing towards the side of the video, all the way towards the blackboard or whatever. And the guy comes in and throws her around, whatever. And he stays there like a duck. In my day, we had a word for that. We had You don't have a word for that. You have a word for holes and stuff. Like, you got thoughts, those holes over there. And you got all these words to disrespect women. But you don't have a word to call, to, to use to, for a man that's a punk bitch. And this is what the, the black principal did. He stood there off to the side like a punk bitch duck and didn't do shit. Like an Uncle Tom... And, and, and let me tell you, so this is the reason why. This is the reason why they brutalize and black people left and right. Because they're sitting there and they're just like, oh, okay, but, you know, that's fine. No, it's not fine, you know. Where's your balls, you know. Where's your where's, where's your sense of humanity? Like, you're just going to let this happen? Like a, a, a black girl, another young black girl in the class, right, had to get up and, please, oh, please, God, help me. For her, begging for her life, she gets arrested for that kid. Another kid have more humanity than he does. Nobody's mentioning that, but I'm going to mention it here on this show, on the Lazy D Review, you heard it first, because ain't nobody saying shit about it. That this man, this black, big black strong man, stood there in his own school and, and, and held his dick in his hand, in his pocket, and let this man beat up a child in front of him, whoop her ass all over the place, and he stood there and he didn't even say, all right, that's enough. No, he stood there and he was like this. Oh, oops. He, he didn't even care. I mean, he, this is what we have as a principal. See, in, in, over there in South Carolina, this is what you have as a principal. Look at that. Black man. And he, he sits there and let that. It, you know, somebody said it best. They said, is this Nazi Germany? Is this Nazi Germany now? Really, you know, I'm going to tell you right now. America or whatever is ready for Nazi Germany. The new Nazi Germany regime to come through. And I'm going to tell you why. Because they're ready to go walk right into the ovens. When they tell you, all right, no, go to the oven. Straight. It's right down there. People are going to be like, hey, am I like this, mommy? Like this? Yes, yes, like that. You didn't hear what I said? Get in the oven. Because nobody is sticking up for the rights of these children. And some of the people are actually saying, well, you know, these kids today and these kids, are, uh, please, the proof is in the video. You saw what happened. The kid even said she didn't do nothing. The boy videotaping it said he didn't do nothing. He said he didn't say shit. Because him and everybody in the class was scared, afraid for their life. And when we were kids at Catholic school, we were scared for our lives too when that nun came in. But she was an old woman. And she knew how to whip that whole school in, into shape. And if she walked in through the door, we all jumped up and said, Good morning, Sister Miriam Teresa. If she caught any of us fighting, we got fucked up. We all got slapped the fuck up like whap, whap. I said no fighting in class because that's how she talked. And um, she was able to control the whole entire school because she was the principal and she was an old white woman, yes, and she was a nun from head to toe with a full-on outfit and she was terrifying, right? I love her and I'm going to tell you why because she knows how to handle a whole entire school and get respect. And if she would have told that girl to get out that chair, that girl would have jumped out that chair because that's the kind of respect she was able to, to receive from those kids in a time where things were crazy. Things were really crazy and people were, were pretty ignorant. But see, even still, if that man would have did that to that girl in my time, everybody would have jumped out of their chairs and everybody would have been like, oh my God, stop it, you're killing her. Everybody would have said that. And I'm going to tell you why, because we have more sense. And I'm, I know you're going to get offended, but I'm going to tell you why. Because kids felt, they had sentimiento. And today, people don't have that sentimiento. They just have fear for themselves or if not, they're selfish or if not, um, you know, they just don't give a fuck or, you know, it's not happening to me, so fuck it. But then that that girl, that young girl got arrested for her. And I want to say kudos to you, girlfriend, and you really are a hero. You're the hero of the story. The kid that videotaped, yeah, he's the hero of the story. But the big hero to me is the kid that videotaped because because of him, not had, had, it, had it not been for him, we would all not know the story. Because they would have swept it under the rug and nobody would care. Okay? Because that's what I wanted to address too. Nobody ever cares anymore about what happened to black kids. You know, and I want to address that eventually on another another video where we talk about Black Lives Matter um, versus, you know, um, All Lives Matter, that, that thing. Because it's ridiculous and there's a reason why th that they're saying Black Lives Matter because blacks are the ones getting 
you know, clapped, clocked over their head like baby seals. And they need to say, listen, stop, our lives matter. They're trying to say that. And if you don't get that, fuck you. You know, that's all I got to say because that's pissing me off like crazy. I can't even tell you. Racism is alive and well, yeah, I know. And I, mean, I don't really believe in that. Because I'm like, you take a baby and you raise them with anybody and they're going to love it, right? I mean, racism is taught, really. You know, being racist, being hating is taught. You know, well, whatever. So anyway, I want to know what's your thoughts on the subject, if you have any at all. Like I always say, click like, don't forget, rate, comment, and subscribe. You know I'm always there for you. You know I'm always here for you. And I wanted to cover this story, really, basically because of the principle that he was black and that he stood there. And he didn't say shit. It's just... It was mortifying to me, and I want to know if you know if you noticed that because you should have. It's really it's pretty bad. I mean, America, you know, America, you need to step up. You need to do better. Anyway, um, don't forget, like I always say, thanks for watching my show.